Cuban Air Force pilot, Lorenzo Oreste. What year is this? Um, 50s? No, 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 60s. 60s. He installed a MiG-29 from the Air Force in Cuba and defected, came in, and landed in Key West. Um, he, he flew, he flew a little bit you know, on the radar and um, he was not detected. That's terrible. Yes. When you have an enemy 90 miles away yes. and his fighter plane lands in Key West and you don't even know about it. He asked for permission to land. They just said deny. You know, he said, my name is so-and-so, my intentions are to defect and I'm a big 29 pilot. You know, but he said, no, we see, we're going to shoot you down. I said, well, that's too bad. I'm already in the tarmac. <laughs> so they said, you know, they got him. This is Miami? No, no Key, West. Key West. Oh, Key West, Key West, Key West. So Castro starts throwing a fit. I want my plane back and I want him back. He's going to run himself in jail. But he, he asked for political asylum, so they kept him there. They sent more pilots to get the MiG-29 back. They get the airplane back. Castro had a speech after he got the plane back. He says, he's never, never going to see this land again. He's never going to see his wife and kids ever again. Three years later, he flew into Cuba on a private plane, picked up his family, and got out of Cuba. <laughs> they call him the flight of love. He's just smoking yeah. about it. He started, he, he had it all planned from the beginning. The guy is a brain. He started uh, sending letters. Of course, he knew they were going to read the letters, so he, he wrote everything in code. And uh, there was two Mexican ladies that used to travel all the time, and they were in connection to help them. And uh, they went, they, they told his wife what day, where to be, what time, and to wear bright clothes. And they all had orange t-shirts. He landed on the street in Baradero Beach, picked him up and took off. And flew so close and landed in a marathon. Some story, huh? So then, 